Well, this is a very interesting development that happened last night. The uh, Turkish authorities brought down a, a Syrian plane that was uh, overflying its territory from uh, Moscow uh, to Aleppo, I think, first, and then to Damascus. Uh, it uh, sent up fighter jets to bring it down over Ankara Airport. Uh, it then uh, searched the plane and took away some equipment. Uh, it didn't say specifically what it was. There are various theories, but it seems to be some sort of uh, military communications equipment uh, connected to the war in uh, Syria. Uh, who knows where they got the information from, but uh, that's what they did. Uh, it comes as there's a uh, upping of pressure on Syria's neighbors to stop any assistance can't get into the regime. Uh, there is, as, uh, as we know now, a very uh, tough relationship between Turkey and Syria, which had been friends until the start of this uprising. Uh, but the Turkish prime minister has become one of the leading characters uh, attacking uh, Bashar Assad of Syria and calling on him to stand down. Uh, there is an accusation of hypocrisy that could be made against uh, Mr. Erdogan, the uh, Turkish. In relation to this, because of course, Turkish territory has been used to channel arms uh, to the rebels from Qatar and Saudi Arabia. But Turkey has uh, pretty much taken sides on this one, uh, and is already shelling uh, some positions in Syria every time there's a, uh, a shell, or a Syrian mortar shell or something lands over the border in Turkey, uh, which is uh, not unknown. Turkey hits back with shellfire. Uh, so it's a very combustible situation. I mean, most people think that Turkey won't actually go to war with Syria over this. There's no uh, constituency in Turkey for a war with Syria. What will be interesting to see is how uh, Russia reacts to this. Uh, Russia also doesn't want to escalate to the situation. Uh, it doesn't want to row with NATO over this. It doesn't want to row with Turkey over this. Um, it has its own uh, complaints and issues with NATO uh, and doesn't want to get sidelined on this route. And also it doesn't want its own role in Syria to be highlighted too strongly. It's, uh, it's very keen to be say, playing, a seen playing a constructive role in Syria, e even though it's being accused of blocking any uh, sanctions on Syria. It, it has its own proposal proposals for the Syrian regime. Uh, it, it, it issues its own warnings to the Syrian regime occasionally. Um, so anything that uh, embarrasses Russia uh, is, um, is difficult for Russia, but indeed that may well be part of the Turkish game.